Oh no. Uh. Oh hell! Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I was not planning to start the video there, but uh, now I'm being chased by the ghost. Fuck this. I'm just walking over to the spot where I wanted to start the video, next to the gas monster. Oh god, there it is. And, uh, all of a sudden the whole screen flashes white, and now we're in blue land again. Last time we met that thing! I'm gonna take this opportunity to pause and, uh, start the timer. Oh god. It's always fucking something in Union, isn't it? Oh Jesus, it's still moving towards me. Shit, shit, shit. I can't. Okay, no, don't take on the, go the gas thing now. Oh god, oh god, oh shit, oh fuck. It's hunting me! You know, I was looking at the video... ...and I realized something very important. That thing did not take me to Beacon to kill me. It never actually touched Sebastian. He ducked out of the way... ...and, uh... Oh god. Opened a door, and that's when he went to Beacon. I think Sebastian's mind panicked so hard that it made him flash back to his worst, I'm sorry, second worst day ever. And, uh, stuck him. Right back in Beacon. I took her there. That's why she left bodies behind at the other victims. The fuck is this place? Well, I hear the fucking smoke monster. I hate how well lit this part is. Okay, no pipes anyway. I'm not in love with that. Can I just... Oh, I can. Just in case. And then because it doesn't actually use up any extra ammo, let's mix some of this. That's funny, I thought it... Wait. Oh, no, 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 it's uh, medical stuff that doesn't do that. My mistake. I don't know why I was thinking that. Well, time to go say hi. Sounds like a dying rooster. Maybe I get really lucky and it's a kamikaze unit. You know, blows up when I hit it in the head. Oh no, it's a banshee. Christ on a bucket. But nope, nope, nope. I missed.
click the stick by accident. Okay, this is bad. Oh. Hey, you're dead. Get that juice before it goes. I don't even know why you're dead. You must have been standing behind that guy. Still there? No. Shame, I wanted to get a good look at you. Oh, there you are! Oh, oh, no. I regret this decision. Oh, there's like six people in there. Great. You know, even these things and the knife women. I don't know. I get that Laura Victoriano scared the bejesus out of me. You know, kind of left me with some issues. But, uh... God damn. Someone really needs to tell Japan there are other kinds of ghost than pale women with long, stringy hair. Of course. Wouldn't want it to be too easy, would we? Uh, I don't want to run all the way over there, especially if the fucking ghost appears again. Oh, hey. Oh, no, it's just a reflection on this tire thing. My mistake. No stomp, no stomp. Oh. I mean, without any, uh, lightning bolts. Oh, there we go, that's a solution. Oh, right, uh, achievement unlocked, I am the knight. Killed ten enemies using sneak kills. Well, it's not every day you get compared to Batman, I'll take that. Ooh. It's night time. People are trying to sleep. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, so it was Michael Scott who reached out to me and said that, uh, he misspoke. Uh, and described the wrong building. He, uh, didn't mean the Union Auto Repair. He meant, uh... Well, actually, he just meant... Here. Ah, and here's my key to the armory. Sniper rifle parts. Spare parts for maintaining a sniper rifle. If there are sniper rifle parts here, then there must be a sniper rifle somewhere. These parts should fix the broken sniper rifle. Some ass-backward logic, but okay! 
Uh, not what he said, that's actually very straightforward. Uh, I meant the bit where you assume there's a completed sniper rifle around just because someone has a piece of it. Just crafting. Sniper rifle! Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. Would you like to repair the sniper rifle? Sniper rifle! This rifle is super accurate at long range, thanks to its powerful scope. For when you don't want to get your hands dirty. Okay. I'm on board of that. Oh, yeah. Alright. We've already learned quite a lot today. Like that that fucking thing will uh, show up at random. And the screen even turns blue, the way uh, it did when Ruvik hunted me in the, uh, in the mansion level. In the first game, I mean. And he'd just show up at random. And nothing you did would actually harm him. And if he made it up close enough to touch you, he'd just hold out his hand and you'd explode into chunks. Any herbs out here in this wooded bit? I guess I'd see them by now. Hmm. We learned that the smoke monsters are dangerous. That the smoke is actually just a byproduct of the acid inside of them, and not, you know, some kind of... I kind of figured that I would shoot it, and the entire area would fill with a smoke screen. That's what I thought. And then it would just suddenly come lunging out of the darkness at me. Really take more advantage of that since it doesn't use up uh, stamina. Oh dear, someone's misplaced your head. Oh, I get it. I think. Uh, no, wait, it was... Oops. Okay, brain, you can do this. This one, this one, this one. Uh... Look, man, just oh, no, not that go. one. Okay, door's locked. Window's secure. Power disabled. Yeah, this one. And nothing's getting in here. So this guy... So Turner got murdered by the serial killer. So this must be Hayes, since the guy in there was telling him to fuck off. Before he got eaten by the ghost. Huh? 
Oh, right. That one has shotgun shells on it. What am I doing? I didn't actually go into the place yet. Fair enough. Now we know that doesn't help. Oh! I didn't think it would be done yet. Fine! No use crying over spilt syringes. going in here. Oh, right. And now I never have to do those things again. Well, I'm here. Let me see. Where did I want to go next? Brain. You look like you could use some help, detective. You look like you need a vacation. I haven't seen any statues in a while. Um... Let's see... Twelve hundred? Christ. Ah. Okay. That seems like a good one to have. Defiance 1. If an attack would have just barely done enough damage to kill you, you'll grit your teeth and bear it, remaining alive with a small amount of health. That's the one that doesn't work if, uh... You've got the one-hit... Uh, deaths mode on... I don't suppose you could change these bandages on my hand? They're kind of grody after a while. No? Okay, fine. I wonder what he even did. Probably something extremely dramatic, you know, like uh, breaking a mirror by punching it. Uh, oh, right. What can they... Why is this area here? Are they going to add something over there? I assume so. Maybe they're going to add a DJ table, and that's where uh, Sebastian works on his uh, mixing. In a pig's eye. I have been warned, once I started going after the sniper rifle, that sniper rifle ammo is rarer than hen's teeth. So, uh, I'm gonna switch to anything else. And, uh, oh. Okay. There is no jump button. I wonder if that's a gas tank or an above ground septic tank. Well, I bet Sebastian already knows it's that. Hey! Not. Uh -uh! Oh. Nope. Doesn't work at all.
fuck. Uh, okay. Christ, Sebastian, that was a good one. Six bullets. That's plenty. That's a lie. I should have checked out upgrades for the sniper rifle. I guess first I should go see what happens when I blow off that nice lady's head with it. You know, I remember in the Dead Space games, there was a very small enemy that sometimes appeared in the little stompable crates. Uh, oh. Gross. Oh, that's where that woman was, I think. Yeah, sorry, uh, just checking which house this was. Don't mind me. Oh, can't jump over that. But they were, like, the size of your hand and did tiny damage to you? Like, they were only really dangerous in big swarms, which they often were, but, you know, when there's just one of them in a box, I think the objective was to make players uneasy even about looting. Oh, God! Okay. Bye! Nope, sorry. Uh, I gotta go. Gotta pick my kid up from the soccer game. Fuck this. Just like this, the only way to deal with Ruvik was to avoid him until he disappeared. I'm just going to keep walking away. Okay, yeah, that's why it lasted so long the first time. Where am I? What? Oh! It's this building. I bring up those little guys from Dead Space 1 because I had wondered if they were going to put a monster in the boxes and was not expecting it to be a full goddamn size zombie. Oh, crap. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play the Evil Within. When I go down that computer and go say hello to that knife woman. Later. Oh, the Evil Within 2, I should say. <clears throat>